back to my channel. Um, excuse the fact that I look exhausted, I'm really tired. <laughs> I made this cushion last week for a friend and I want to make a matching little table mat tray cloth thing to go with it. And I thought I would bring you guys along for the ride and see how that goes. So my inspiration to start that is these. I have been making little sock friends and the first six that I made, I used these socks and I only used the bottom part, the toe part, and you use those for the faces. This left me with the top part of each sock and it seemed wasteful to just put them in the bin and they've got quite a nice scalloped trim along the top. So I had a thought that if I made like a tray cloth or a table mat, I could use this scallop trim to edge it. Whether or not I can or not, I don't know. Whether or not I can or not. Whether I can or not, I don't know. But we're going to try. So I have cut some strips. These are two inches wide by 12 inches long of some of the fabric which I used for the cushion. I don't have any of the plain left, so I'm only using the floor and the check. I'm going to sew those together to make a long piece and then I'll cut them down again to make them into a checkerboard and then sew the checkerboard together to make a patchwork cushion. It won't be quite the same as this one because I say no plain and there'll be smaller squares to make a patchwork piece, not cushion. And then the intention is to try and use the edges of these to scallop, to give a scalloped edge on the table mat. I know what I mean, but I don't know whether I can achieve it. So um, I thought you might like to come along and uh, and see if I can.
Okay, so there are my strips laid out in the checkerboard pattern. Sorry, the background's not great. Um, I am going to sew them slightly off like that because that way it doesn't notice so much if your seams aren't that even. That's my plan. So now I'm going to sew them together like that and then I'll trim them down again and then they'll then I'll think about how to edge them. sewn them all together in their kind of off-centre checkerboard pattern and I'm now going to cut them down so that they're square again because I'm not very good at sewing and my seam allowances are always a bit wonky so it's all a bit skew with so I'm going to cut it down so it's square and then look at edging it. So my piece has ended up 25, I want it to be square don't I, 25 by 24 Ugh. and also that edge not at all straight. by 24 and I think I'm going to leave it at that because if I keep on turning bits off I'm going to end up with something the size of a, a coaster instead of a table mat. The question is have I got enough of these to make an edging? Only one way to find out Mark. I believe I have. Yes I, well, I've got six I think I'm going to want eight aren't I? Or maybe not. Maybe I haven't got enough. Oh, poop. Although by the time it's hemmed again, I'm going to stitch these into these together so they make one long strip and take it from there. If I have to cut that down a bit, I can. That's 
my long strip of socks all sewn together. Now I want to trim them because I really want that top edge. So I'm going to basically cut most of that away now. That's the bit that I want to use. That's the, that's the side I want to use and I've stitched them all together the wrong way. Oh, why you shouldn't do stuff when you're tired. Poopy poopy poop. Question is, will that side look rubbish? I think I can get away with it. I think I can get away with it. I'm going to have to because I can't do it again. I'm knackered now. <laughs> okay. My backing piece. Here is my front piece and the idea is that my trim will sandwich in here and peep out the sides like that. That's the plan. Whether I can make the plan come to fruition I do not know but I'm gonna try. I still haven't got quite enough trim, have I? There just isn't enough. There just isn't. Ugh. Don't just love it when a plan refuses to come together. Later. Okay. What I'm going to do... What I'm going to do is abandon the trim. The entire point of making the cloth was to try and use this, but there isn't enough unless I stretch it as I sew it. And if I do that, it'll bunch back up and there, there isn't enough. I could do two side edges, I suppose. Maybe I'll do two. I'll do two side edges. This is literally a work in progress, growing and evolving as we go along. OK. Abby Burns for you, although I've gone Irish. The best lead plans of mice and men gang aft a glee. That was very Irish for a poor Scots poet, sorry Robbie Burns.
that together has taken quite a lot of heavy brain work, which my brain was not up for this evening, and I'm still not convinced I've done it right. But do you know what? I'm just going to start bloody sewing. <sighs> It's not gone how I planned it. Moment of truth, gonna turn it through and see what on earth shambles I've ended up with. It was supposed to be a quick project, it's taken me an over over an hour so far, and I don't think I've done a very good job. <laughs> well, It's not great. It's not attached here. My stitching must have gone very wonky at the back there. So that's, oh, it is attached, but it's not in the right place. It's just not great, is it? It's not what I thought I was making. <laughs> oh dear. I hope I'll get better at this sort of thing the more I try. Practice makes perfect and all of that. Hmm, I need to turn that back through and sort that line out. It's done and I think it might be a lesson to me to not run before I can walk. <laughs> Plainly I don't know how to do stuff. There's a glaring error there. This seam should be on the back like this one. But it's done and um, and it was made with love even if it wasn't made with any skill or talent. <laughs> not a tutorial folks.